Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm gonna to clean my core vent soffit vents with air conditioner cleaner. Let's get around to the other side. I'll show you what the air conditioner cleaner looks like. This right here, what this does is it attaches to like dust and grease and stuff and just completely dissolves it. You don't even have to rinse this off. I am gonna rinse it off though. I'm gonna use my little jet spray here, which is like a poor man's pressure washer. Hopefully I have enough of this stuff. I had three cans of it, now I have a can and a half. I cleaned both of our window air conditioners and I cleaned the air filter for my chainsaw. I'll link to the videos for that stuff a little bit later. And what I'm cleaning is my core vents. I have core vents all along the bottom here. I can feel them right here. And I'll link to the video where I put these in. But basically, there's a wood strip right here, and then a core vent over to the other wood strip. And what that does is allows air to get up behind the siding. And then there's another core vent at the top to let it out. On this part, this part of the house is much older. This is going on 11 years old. You could see the core vent there but it's nearly completely plugged. I gotta open that up. It's gonna be hot for the next 10 days at least. I'll show you the forecast in just a second, but it's been getting hotter and hotter upstairs no matter what we have the AC set on. So I gotta get these cleaned out. Trying to get out of the wind somewhere. It's already been in the 90s for three days. It was 95 yesterday. Uh, Today is 86, then 88, 86, 90, 91, 92, 86. It's going to be very hot in the coming days. And those vents have been plugged up forever. At first, I was just going to spray them with this jet spray. But if I run this along the bottom there, it's all going to go up into the attic, into the attic insulation. And I don't want that. What I want to do is just dissolve the stuff with this and then hit it at an angle. If some gets up there, no big deal. It's just going to drain right back out. But if I put this and like run it straight up through the vents, it'll probably get up into the attic insulation and I don't want that. The attic insulation is pretty far up there. It's really deep insulation and there's a chute running along the inside of the roof. But I don't want to take a chance of getting that all wet and everything. And this stuff works really good. I have my ladder positioned kind of wrong. I have it like for the second couple and I got to get that first one as well. But as long as it's set up, I'll get the ones right there and we'll move our way around the house. I should have did this a year ago, but better late than never. Okay, this stuff is non-toxic and water-based, so I'm not really afraid of getting it on me, but yeah, you can see it dissolving that stuff already. Yeah, this is gonna be kind of hard. I'm gonna have to keep moving this ladder around. It's kind of like insect spray, it jets out, but I don't know how long it's gonna last doing that. Okay, let me get a little bit on this one and then we'll move the ladder and get the areas that didn't get sprayed. I decided to rinse this with the regular nozzle. I hope this wind isn't messing everything up, but it probably is. But you can see it's been maybe five minutes and it has dissolved the vast majority of that stuff that was plugging up these vents. 
I already sprayed the side of the building there, but I didn't spray any up here. So, hopefully I can do this without getting wet. Alright, that looks like it's going to do it, but I'm going to have to keep moving this ladder in order to get at the right angle. And I can tell that that water is going up into this attic area because it's coming out again down here. But that shouldn't be much of a problem. In the heat that we got going right now, that's just going to dry out right away. And the insulation is a good ways up into there, so should be fine. All right, let's rinse what we got on there off and get another spray in. Okay, this is more difficult than I thought it was going to be. You actually have to spray it real close. You can't stand on the ground like I just did on the other one. I actually had to go up on the ladder and you got to spray it kind of close and at a slight angle. That way you could see all kinds of chunks of stuff coming through there. Yeah, those are really plugged up. So I got these two and then that one right there. That one's not that plugged up. But then there's four of them up there on the dormer. And it's really hard to tell if they're all plugged up or not, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get those today. It's really windy in gusts, so I don't really wanna be up on a ladder today. So maybe I'll do as many of the lower ones as I can, and I'll probably be out of the juice by then, and I'll order some more, and then get them upper ones done on a calmer day. All right, this one is about ready to spray the cleaner again. Then I'll clean one half of it, move the ladder, get this one coated, and then spray it the other way. It's kind of putsy, but you can't just spray it straight up in there. You got to do it at an angle. So you kind of got to move the ladder back and forth to get everything. All right, let's get some more cleaner on these two. This stuff comes out a lot like that Hornet spray. It's got a lot of power to it. So I spray it real straight up into this stuff so it's going up into there and cleaning the whole vent out. Right now it's sagging back out of there and in a little bit I'll rinse this one out and it'll be nice and clean just like that one. Okay, that's the last lower vent on this side. I have the upper vents to do, but I'm gonna move everything to the other side 
and I'm going to spray that in a little bit. What I'm going to do is take a break. It's insanely hot out here. I'm going to go and see if I can find the drawings for this and show you exactly how that vent works. And I believe I have some of the core vent left over somewhere. I'll see if I can dig one up, but otherwise we do have a video on how that stuff was installed on this breezeway project. So I'll link to that as well, but I'll see if I can find some of the core event. On second thought, I just came straight back to this side and started working on this side because in a little bit, the sun is going to be aiming right at this side and I'd like to get this done and not have the sun beating on me all day. Right now I'm in the shade and I'm almost done. So you can see I got these done and it's kind of dirty up here because we had barn swallows up here for a few years. They haven't been around since I built that run-in over there. There's a bunch of barn swallows nesting over there. So they've left the house alone since then. And when I got to the very last vent, I ran out of cleaner, so it worked exactly. Now I need to rinse this stuff and I'll be done with that. Then I'll go look for the core vent and I'll see if I can show you the drawings to show you how this stuff is made. Now I gotta move the ladder and do one more spray and then I'm done out here. I went upstairs to take a look on the computer and I couldn't really get anything to show you on the computer so I'll just show you right here. Like this is the outside wall. That's this wall right here. Then there's this tiny little soffit. All it is is like a filler right here and a little piece up against the house and then the vent is trapped between those two. And uh, you probably can't even see it now. The, the sun is kind of messing with my eyes at least. Yeah, I could see it now. And there's a trim board on the outside right here. So you can't really see this piece that's up against the wall. So the air goes up through here. And then there's a gap between the ceiling and the top of the wall. And then there's a three quarter inch foam baffle that goes down into this opening and then it's foamed right here. So this entire area right here, down in this triangle here, that's all completely sealed off from the attic space. And by attic, I mean, it's just insulation. This baffle goes almost up to the top because almost the entire attic is filled with insulation. There's just a tiny little space way up at the peak where there is not insulation. I believe there's two feet or so. Yeah, you see the windows up there? The ceiling is up above that and then there's about two feet of insulation up in the attic. So the space right at the peak is only like eight inches. But anyways, that stuff worked incredibly well. There's several different brands on the market, but that's the brand my son recommended. I'll show it to you again before we leave. I found out the name of it. They did not have the name on this can, and they have some weird stuff written on the can. I'll show you that in a second, but I wish I could zoom in on this. These are just sparkling clean. Let me show you the other side, and I'll show you that can right away. There's still just a bit in these, and I'm going to save that for cleaning air filters and other stuff. There's just not enough to spray overhead anymore, so these are going back in the shed. But anyways, the brand name on this stuff is Frost King. 
they have a new can and it says Frost King at the top and on Amazon it says you purchased this before. I'll put a link to this stuff down in the description and in the pinned comment. I believe this stuff is only like five bucks and they have other stuff that's 15, 20 bucks. This stuff works so I wouldn't spend all the money on that other stuff. So I still have the dormers to do, so I ordered a can for that. And I'm gonna say that my entire house takes two cans of this. But I always wanna have this around because it's an incredible cleaner and it's real good for radiators and stuff. So when I gotta clean the radiator on the tractor or the lawnmowers or anything like that, that's what I'm going to use. So this is now a stock item here on Planet Mojo. So when my new can arrives, I'm going to do them upper vents. I got to do that from a tall ladder and I do not think I'm going to film that, but there's plenty of other stuff going on here. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.